Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Razor and I am a JRPG guy. Welcome back to Star Ocean Last Hope HD Remaster. Last episode we returned to Trium Village and completed some orders there. We also did some item creation as well. Uh, I found out where to get fresh cream. You can get fresh cream from Woodley Village. You can also get pie crust from Woodley Village as well. So make two custard pies. Best of luck now. Look what we made. Figure it out soon. I don't have all day. Need that for an order. Also. I found out where to get ginseng at. So near Woodley Village there will be some harvest points that you can uh, access. And um, to respawn them just go back to the Countess and then go back onto the planet. And you can re-get all the harvest points again. And near Woodley Village you can get ginseng. You need five ginseng. The crystal, I'll show you where to get that at. Uh, the crystal is dropped from stone golems, as you can tell on the right. So, I got two crystals. I only need one. I only needed one, but I got two of them. I got lucky and got two. Uh, they're pretty rare, so you might have to fight a lot of golems to get them. But you'll get one eventually. Or hell, you might get one on the first golem that you fight. If you're lucky. All right, here we go. Under here, and we'll go complete some. We'll complete the orders here in Trium Village. Make sure to complete them now, because you will not be able to complete them later. All right, so before advancing the storyline. Make sure it says accept order is grayed out. See, there's nothing there. That's what we want. So we're good. We also want to go to the other shop and make sure all of them are done here too. Oh, yeah, I guess we're done. I need to buy another Blessed Sword, though. I need to get something for his wrist. And probably a sniper's bang. Go to her head map. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just give him that. It's fine. Our artistry's maxed out. Alright, it's Alchemy's Max as well.
I don't really want to power up skills because they're, I'm going to get too strong and I'm going to be killing the bosses too quickly. And this shop over here, I don't think has any orders or anything, so. Yeah, no, no orders here, as you can tell. Alright, let's advance the storyline. We gotta talk to the elder of this place. I'll also be doing a separate video of me pickpocketing everybody in the village, too. So, but I'm not going to be keeping that, you know, I'm going to be loading up. I'm going to be saving it before I pickpocket and then loading up my save after I'm done pickpocketing. I'm only doing it to show it off. That's literally it. You guys know when I do these playthroughs, I try to show off as much as possible. Anyway, let's talk to the elder here. The source of the sickness. Speaking with complete honesty, I haven't an inkling what it might be. However... Grandpa! I'm fine, Limo. Forgive me. There is a matter I failed to mention when first we met. Several months ago, another celestial ship fell upon our land. What? A celestial ship? You mean besides ours? Only a short time after it fell, the strange monsters appeared, and people began to fall ill from the sickness. Monsters. And a mysterious illness. It all seems a bit too convenient to be a coincidence. Hmm. What do you think, Edge? Edge? Mm. Hello? Anybody home? What? Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, the other ship definitely concerns me, too. One might venture to guess that the other ship brought the source of the disease. It can't hurt to go take a look, at least. Gimdo, where is this other celestial ship now? It fell in the Rinoa Mountains, beyond Wind Swallow Valley. It is a rugged and craggy path. What's worse, the trail is bristling with monsters. It won't be a problem. Leave it to us. Oh, proper words of gratitude escape me. Please, take this with you. You will need it to pass through Windswallow Valk. <coughs> I know. Limmel? You stay here with your grandfather. We'll take care of the source of the disease, okay? Uh. It'll be fine. We'll be back soon. You don't have to worry about us. I'm sorry, Limo. The pain has passed. They are so strong, so kind, rushing into danger for the sake of others, without the slightest hesitation. Perhaps they truly are gods sent to us from the heavens. No, they're not. Edgy and Ray Ray and Faze aren't gods. Edgy and Ray Ray and Faze are friends, okay? You may go with them, little limo. Grandpa. You've never opened your heart to anyone, yet you let those people see your true self without any hesitation. That makes me very, very happy. But... 
Come now. You're going to cure me, aren't you? I'll be getting better soon. Raimi. Hmm? This other ship... You don't suppose it's the Aquila? I thought you were brooding about something, so that's it, huh? It's not possible. Gimdo said the other ship crashed here several months ago, right? Can we be sure? Huh? I don't think Edge's theory necessarily misses the mark. Put simply, warp travel is movement accomplished through the distortion of time. Therefore, it's theoretically possible that an error taking place mid-warp could cause the ship to end up in another time entirely. For example, even an instance variance might cause a gap of several decades. Hold on. The Aramia... What about the Aramia? Ugh. Both of our ships encountered the warp anomaly, and we both landed on the same planet. But the Aramia crew was operating on their own. They didn't make any effort to rendezvous with us. Why would that be? There's only one answer I can think of. When the Aramia warped out, it arrived on Eos in a time prior to our crash. That's what you mean, right, Face? Precisely. So that means it really could be Crow's ship. But supposing it is, why would... Edgy! Lim? Aren't you forgetting something? You forgot your friend, Kay? Wow, we'd have to be pretty absent-minded to forget a friend, huh? Hehe. <laughs> then let's go, okay? Okay, so what we got there was a fire ring. We could use that to open the break the barriers on the chest with ice surrounding them um we need to get it replenished though because it has no charges right now we have to talk to someone around here to do it Okay, well, I guess I couldn't get those items, but whatever, I don't really care. Did I at least get the big berries that he gave me? I think so, I got three of them. Or five of them, I mean. Nothing is infinite in this world. Alright, so she refilled the fire ring. So it's kind of like the ring of disintegration from uh, Star Ocean uh, 3. Alright, but anyway, I'm going to head back to the Countess. Oh, we can also open this chest down over there. Hey, okay, use one charge. And recipe member 02 and Earth Gem. Check that out. With a memo. He's a paper with the Earth Soul bow recipe written on, on it. Show it to Welch. Alright. Um, I 
Yeah, I want to go back to the counter, save it. And then I'll pickpocket the people. I'm not going to show me doing it though, because I'm going to be making a separate video for that. So, um, we're going to go ahead and head to the, the ship. So, I'm going to do that separate video for the uh, pickpocketing in Triumph Village. And then we'll head to the ship. So I'll be right back after I'm done. Alright, we'll go ahead and head to the... Well, we're not going to head to the Windswept yet because we need to go back to the Alnir Citadel because we can get a chest there. But I, I did a video showing me pickpocketing uh, what is it uh, the people in Triumph Village if you want to check it out I'll, I'll upload it eventually it might already be uploaded by the time you see this There we go. Always fight the stone golems whenever you get the chance. I actually forgot to load up my save after fighting the, uh, after pickpocketing. So I had to load up my save, so my bonus gauge is broke now. Oh, but there we go, Dragon Scale and Fire Gem. All right, I was just checking. I was just checking something real quick. All right, that's all the chests we can get for now. I'm going to try to get to an ambush here if I can. Uh, maybe that was close enough.
If it was, nice. What is SP like times two mean? Do you get SP for fighting battles in this? I don't know. But we can go ahead and leave this place now. I'll come back here later. I guess I better save here. Yeah, it's been a long time since I played this game, man. I remember this game on 360. I was living in a whole nother area, too. Where was I living at when this game came out? Now that I think about it. I'm trying to remember where I was living. I don't remember when this game even came out on 360. Oh, but anyway, it's been a long time. Oh, this part I actually remember though. I, I remember this like... Uh, I remember this planet and everything. And I remember some of the stuff later in the game, but yeah, there's just not a whole lot that I remember. I remember getting annoyed with RNG in this game. I know this game has an RNG problem. A lot of the mechanics of the game require RNG, as you'll see later on. We can use this. To get certain drops and everything. I don't remember what enemy it was, but I remember an enemy being very annoying to farm a particular item from. That's pretty cool though, I gotta admit that's pretty awesome. Alright, let me st- well actually... Yeah, that's really freaking cool. Look at that. I gotta admit, that's a pretty nice touch. Alright, so... I'm gonna start up a separate... Uh, thing for, uh, I guess it'll be alright. We got an aqua robe. There's a ship over there.
Okay. There's a ship right there. That's how you enter. How long have I been recording for, though? Let's fight some enemies out here and then I'll probably end. That's got like a wolf enemy here. Got like. Saber tooth tiger. It's not a wolf. <laughs> I thought it was a wolf. Like a harpy enemy, too. Harpy, uh. Alright. How do we get to their parts of the map, though? There's another harpy over there. We probably have to go to the ship and then exit, ex exit the ship, you know? Yep, that's probably what we gotta do. In order to get over there. But we'll be going to that ship in the next episode. I guess we'll fight a little bit more enemies and then I'll end. We'll go in here and we'll exit. Oh, you can fight the harpies here too. Okay. So you can just fight these enemies here too. Nice. And stone rain. Plastic explosives, I have no clue what that does. Probably gonna need them for the dungeon though. Got a bit of lag around here it seems. Frame rate 
drops you'll see that yeah the frames are up in there Go back to classic. Ugh. So, oh wow, look at this. I kind of like the, I don't know, I kind of like the portraits on classic. They look cartoony almost. Alright, but anyway, I'm in the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.